Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at how extreme weather might affect us in the UK in the future. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. Records show evidence that weather in the UK is becoming more extreme. But what will that mean for us? Let's start off by looking at heavier rainfall in the winter. Firstly, heavier rainfall in the winter will affect infrastructure as there may be a higher risk of damage to buildings and roads from flood events. Heavy rain can also trigger landslides when slopes get waterlogged. And landslides often block roads, particularly in more remote areas. It will also affect transport as there may be more disruption to travel as flooding cuts off roads and railway lines as well as making driving conditions more dangerous. There is also the risk of becoming stranded in flood water as drivers underestimate the danger of driving through what they perceived was a shallow flood. Finally, heavier rain can affect water supply as there may be issues with contamination. This is because drains in urban areas may become overwhelmed. This is also one of the reasons why water companies are allowed to release raw sewage into waterways as it relieves the drainage systems. Let's move on to consider the impact of more frequent and hotter heat waves. Firstly, they may have a serious impact on our health with more health conditions related to the heat, such as dehydration and heat stroke but there will also be an increased risk to people with chronic illnesses such as diabetes as extreme heat causes a rise in glucose levels and also heart disease as the body has to work harder to keep its core temperature to normal levels. This puts extra strain on the heart as well as other organs such as the lungs and kidneys. There is likely to be an impact on transport there may be more incidents of travel being disrupted by the heat, for example tarmac road surfaces melting and railway lines buckling. These are both something that are a regular occurrence anyway. There will also be an increase in demand for energy in spells of heat due to the higher demand for cooling by fans or air conditioning units. But what about an increased risk of drought in the summer? This would affect us in a number of ways. Firstly, it would affect farming as there may be lower crop yields, which will affect the livelihood of farmers. Additionally, farmers would have to spend more money on irrigation. However, in an extreme drought, there wouldn't be enough water to pump into these in the first place. Secondly, it would affect our water supply. There may be less water available for industry, which could affect food supply, and industrial output in general. There would also be less water for domestic use leading to water stress or water shortages. These could lead to water restrictions such as hose pipe bans which mean that people couldn't water their gardens, wash their cars or fill up paddling pools. Perhaps more surprisingly is the potential risk to property. Many of us think that subsidence is being linked to unstable ground perhaps caused by waterlogging. However, many buildings experience subsidence as soils dry out and shrink. This will happen more frequently during times of drought. And finally, you have a much higher risk of wildfires. The summer of 2022 saw frequent wildfires breaking out across the UK because the ground was so dry. Finally, let's look at the impact of less extremely cold weather. Firstly, this will be good for energy consumption, as there will be less of a demand for energy to heat homes, which will come in handy as energy prices are currently soaring. This will also be good in terms of reducing CO2 emissions, although ironically it is the increased CO2 emissions that have caused us to experience these warmer winters. Secondly, there will be good news in terms of transport as there may be fewer incidents of disrupted road, rail and air travel due to heavy snow. Finally, in terms of health, there may be less risk of cold-related conditions such as flu and pneumonia. Also, fewer heart attacks and strokes, 
which have an increased risk in cold weather. This is because as temperatures drop, your blood vessels tighten and the blood flow speeds up to help you stay warm. This is why your blood pressure is often higher in colder seasons and higher blood pressure is a major cause of heart attacks and strokes. However, it is important to note here that while the impact of climate change may be relatively positive in terms of reducing all of these things in winter, the impact of heavier rainfall, more frequent and hotter heat waves, and an increased drought risk in the summer far outweigh the marginal gains of less extreme winters. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on how we might be affected by extreme weather in the UK in the future. Thank you for watching.